and having a healthy time with your family and friends. Today I am so excited to teach you about area and volume. Before I start my lesson, I want to share the learning outcomes of this lesson. In this lesson, I am going to teach you how to calculate the area and perimeter of 2D shapes. How to find the area of a rectangle. Area is the amount of space inside a flat shape. It's important for everyone to know how to find it. Adults need to find the area of a room to buy the right amount of flooring and you need to know it in school to ace your tests. The first shape we work with in school is a rectangle. Area is measured in square units, so let's divide this rectangle up into square units and find out how many it has. 5 10 15 15 square units. We have 3 rows of 5. 3 times 5 is 15. The quickest way of finding the area of a rectangle is to measure two adjacent sides and multiply those numbers. These sides are next to each other, so they're adjacent. We call them length and width. So the area of a rectangle is length times width. If we're finding the area of this rectangle here, we could carve it up into little squares and count all of those, but that would take a long time on a big rectangle. Instead, it's always much quicker to multiply length times width to get the area. On our rectangle, length is 10 metres and the width is 7 metres. Area is length times width, so 10 times 7 is 70. 70 what? The diagram shows us the measurements are in metres, so we have to put that in our answer. Area is 70 m for metres squared. The little 2 superscripted up here stands for squared. It makes sense because we measured in two dimensions, length and width. Here's one last rectangle. The length is 10 centimetres and the width is 4 centimetres. Area is length times width, so 10 times 4 is 40. The area is 40 centimetres squared. Always use that unit of measurement squared in your answer. If you forget to, you will lose marks. And if by some chance you are not given a measurement unit, you write units squared instead and you make sure of full marks that way. So let's review. To find the area of a rectangle, multiply two adjacent sides, length times width. Put the unit of measurement and show it as squared. As you have learned about how to find the area of a rectangle, I am going to teach you now how to find the perimeter of a rectangle. Now can you tell me what is a perimeter? It's actually the path around this shape. It means if you add all these sides, you will get the perimeter of a rectangle. Now in your previous classes, you have learned about the uh, properties of a rectangle. Uh, properties of a rectangle are like opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. For example, if AB is 5 cm, CD is also 5 cm. BC is 3 cm, AD is also 3 cm. So, if you add all these sides like 5 cm plus 3 cm plus 5 cm and plus 3 cm, you will get the perimeter of a rectangle. So, it is equals to 16 cm. You can also find perimeter of a rectangle by a formula, by applying a formula. Now, uh, as you know that opposite sides are equal, so it means 2 a length and plus 2 width. Its formula is 2 into length plus width. So substitute the values of length and width and multiply with 2, you will get the perimeter of a rectangle. So this is how you can uh, find with the help of formula as well. Now it's over to you for some practice. I have given you some 
like find the area of area and perimeter of a rectangle whose dimensions are given length is given width is given you are going to find its area and perimeter thank you so much for watching